everyone, it's Destiny out here at County Line Cameras in Gulfport, Mississippi. We have a treat for you. We are looking at a compact, lightweight, perfect off-grid style camper. This one here is the Viking 9000 series. We are looking at the ROK model. Let's check it out. a look right here at the front I wanted to note we have a nice front cap here this is automotive grade metal we also are gonna see that on the side technically it's called corrugated siding but look at the change this almost reminds me of shiplap in a house they did thicker pieces of the siding so it's not your typical style of camper siding so we do have our diamond plate down here. This is just gonna help from rocks coming up and flinging and dent in the fiberglass. Speaking of fiberglass, you have a laminated fiberglass roof going all the way across the top of the camper. You're also gonna find cargo rack up there as well as solar panel. That's right, you have solar panels on this, again, making it the perfect off-grid style camper. You do have the upgraded uh, tire package on this one. We got the 15 inch with the steel rims. You can find our spare right here and a cargo space for the batteries. You're gonna be able to keep a solar battery charged up as well as your normal house battery. Our propane tank right here on front, when you purchase here at County Line, we do fill this up for free. We have our manual tongue jack right here. I love that they black out the chains. Coming over to this side, we do have the uh, four scissor jack style. They are manual, but you know the little hack of the drill bit, just pop it on in, take it on down. We have our first cargo space right here, the little clippies. And taking a look, you can see our vinyl flooring, which does run through the coach. And there is a door right there to be able to access the storage compartment from the inside. You do have your quick connect for your LP, which will show on the back side, as well as a little sprayer hose, again, for your outdoor kitchen on the back. We have our tempered safety glass right here, and we do have a little bit of a tent, which is going to help keep the sun from heating up that space inside the camper. This is your AC, kind of like a window unit, but it is fully mounted all around. We have our tire covers, and check that out, the super duty 15 inch with a steel rim. Over here, we have our control panels. You are on the 30 amp power. We have our solar connection. In the event you wanted to add more solar to this unit, you do have the option to plug it in right here. This is your cable connection, your potable drinking water, city water connection, and you do have the inlet in order to add your antifreeze. This is basically gonna act as a gray water drain. So we don't have actual tanks on this unit, but you do have a little sink in your outdoor kitchen. When you do this, fill up the sink, wash the dishes, whatever, you need somewhere for the water to go. It's gonna go into a slight teeny tiny holding tank, but ideally you'd wanna come and open this up to let that water flush out. You also could connect a water hose and run it off site. Right here we do have our exhaust for our hot water heater and right up here is our solar connections and you can get a good look at that solar panel right on top. Now this is where the party is at. We have this whole backside of the outdoor kitchen. Check this out. We have the slam latches. I want to rock our okay rear outdoor kitchen and it's on the hydraulic strut so it's going to pop right up. Taking a look closer we do have our sink our adjustable spigot right here. You can also attach the water hose to this so that way it acts kind of as an outdoor sprayer, fill up a pot for a crawfish boil, whatever you need to do. Bottle opener, storage with the netting, good size cabinetry up there as well as down here. We have the large refrigerator. This here's the 12 volt fridge, lots of storage inside, perfect little beer cooler and we have this spot where your grill will be mounted right here. This is going to come with a little outdoor griddle system and you can mount it right in here. We have good countertop space and our light switches. We have a pump to be able to pull from the potable drinking water and then we've got the option to turn the water heater on one of our outlets and that is a look at this space connection that is going to be your LP quick connect so you are able to go ahead and connect straight into that grill or again put you a little crawfish boil right out here to the side great LED docking light and if you look at this track right on top look over here we have an awning 
So this is going to come with your unit. This gives you the option to slide the tracks right onto the roof of the camper. And then your awning is going to extend right out here to where I'm standing. So you have a huge outdoor entertainment space and it's super easy to put together. Right over here we have some outlets for a uh, television. It would be great to be able to stand a television up right there and get underneath the awning and have a great outdoor entertainment space. We have our door and the door does have a window with detachable screen door and a curtain to be able to black this out. On the back side you do have your latch to be able to prop the door open so you can utilize that screen door. Right here you do have your leash link system. This is going to be able to leash up the dogs right here. Over here we do have another LED locking light and then you have your spots for your awning to clip into. And taking a look at our steps, we do have the portable steps. They're just going to flop over and push right in underneath the unit. So taking a look at the inside, we have our long lounge seat. This does convert into a bed. We'll show you that in just a minute. First, I did want to show we have more cargo racks with the net. We have push LED lighting right here. Down below, we have our cable connection and outlet, so this would be the great spot to mount the TV to. Ta-da! Now you have a dining space. You are going to get this freestanding table. It has the foldable legs, so you can take it and put it underneath the awning area or bring it inside the camper. So underneath our booth area, we do have more storage, and you are able to access, again, to that outside storage compartment right from underneath the bed. Right down here, we have our CO2 sensor and our solar system. This right here is your control panel to be able to check out everything to do with the solar and we have our breaker box right down here. If you notice we've got legs that is because this is where your bed comes from. Once you pull that base of the bed out you can take this mattress right down here and then the back side flattens out and look at that you now have your huge sleeping space super comfy grab the pillows and blankets and you can easily put together your bed. We do have our emergency exit and we have the nighttime curtain to be able to pull it down to black out the unit. Right up here we have our smoke detector and fire extinguisher. I also want to note when you're camper shopping, look at the stickers. There's going to be stickers all over the unit and they can tell you so much. So right here, their owner manual is actually digitized. So all you have to do is scan that QR code and be able to access your owner's manual at any time. And you have complimentary 24-7 roadsides and troubleshooting assistance with Forest River. Call this number. You're having a malfunction, confused about how something works, can't get something started. Don't worry, you don't have to call the dealer every single time. Forest River takes care of you with their own help hotline. Moving over here, we have a great little workspace uh, or kitchen space for the inside. You've got this countertop, charging station with the 12 volt and USB and outlets. Right here's a look at that window unit. This one here is the GE and you do have all the different fan settings. This unit is so compact it'll cool it off no problem very quickly. More storage compartments right here and right over here. And down below here is that suburban furnace. And lastly we have our storage compartment that gives you direct access to all the cargo outside. We do have our max vent air fan. This is going to be digital so all you have to do is twist this to pop open that roof vent and then you have your four speed settings right overhead. So that is a look at this brand new 2025 Viking ROK. We're super compact setup, great for off-grid style camping. To see more, come visit us on Bernard Parkway in Gulfport, Mississippi. When you think camping, think County Line Campers.